Hello, welcome to the California Open Educational Resources Council Focus Groups Collaborate tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to cover quickly how you can access the Collaborate room in which the focus groups are going to take place, and then how you can collaborate with other participants once that you are inside the session. So the first thing that I'm going to tackle is the requirements that you should have in order to run the Collaborate uh, session successfully. And that would be by using an actual computer, that would be a desktop or a laptop. And I would not recommend you to use mobile devices, even though there's enough apps out there that would allow you to access this session in a mobile device the mobile device will not provide you with all of the tools that the desktop or the laptop brings. So that's why I strongly recommend that you use a computer, a desktop or a laptop for this session. Another thing that you're going to need is headphones and a microphone. If you have used video conference software before, chances are you have been able to communicate well without headphones. Nonetheless, in Collaborate, sometimes these headphones are needed and it really improves the communication among all the participants. So I will strongly also recommend that you use headphones and that you use a microphone. The microphone, if you're using a laptop, could be the actual microphone that is embedded in the laptop, or if you have a desktop, you can just use a plug-in microphone. Very well, let's move to the next part. Accessing the Collaborate session. In this part, I am going to tackle two parts. One, it is about installing a launcher that will enable you to launch the session that you will join. And the other part is how to actually join a specific session. In this case, I have put some tutorials from the people who create Collaborate, which is Blackboard. And if you would like, for example, to know how do you install the launcher on a Windows system? You will have to come to this symbol over here, roll over, wait for that external link window to pop up, and then click there. And that is going to send you to the Windows help on how to install the launcher. Once that you have done that, you can come over here, roll over, wait for the pop up, click again, and this part can show you how you can join a session on Windows. So I put those in there just in case you need them and also their Mac versions of these um, tutorials. But now I'm going to go through them here in this video so you know what actually takes place. So I'm going to close these branches. I'm going to come over here and this is normally how you would access one of these collaborate sessions. You can receive a link to the session. It can be an embedded link that is placed on some text, or it can be the actual link spelled out as it is here. So what I would recommend is to just click there, and immediately what is going to happen is that this window is going to appear. If you haven't installed the Collaborate Launcher just yet, you might have to go through that process first. And once again, if you need some help installing the launcher, this is where you can get some help from Blackboard. And if the launcher is already installed in your computer, then you should automatically have downloaded a file that has the extension Collab. And that is the file that you need to open in order to access the session. The first time that you start one of these sessions, it might lead you through different steps in which you have to, for example, specify the speed of your connection to the internet. That will happen only one time the first time that you use Collaborate. After you have used it once, all of that will happen automatically. So I will recommend that as you prepare for these focus group sessions and that you actually download and trigger the session right away so when the actual day comes, everything has already been installed in your computer. Very well, I clicked on this button and my session in Blackboard Collaborate has started. So I'm going to bring that over here and now I am going to cover how to set up your audio. 
and in this case we're gonna find in the menus of collaborate an option that is called audio setup wizard so let's go back to blackboard collaborate I'm gonna extend it to full view and here in the tools menu you're gonna find the audio option and in that audio option you will find an audio setup wizard if you click there you're gonna be able to establish what speakers you're going to use for the session this is my case I'm going to be able or you are going to be able to test them Welcome to the audio setup wizard. if the volume is okay for you just say yes and now you're going to be asked to select a specific input device a microphone and in my case I am using this called blue ball but you can select the one that appears in your system so I'm going to click OK and I'm going to be asked to test it. Test 1, test 2, test 3. You click on stop and then you click on play to listen if your voice can be heard. And in my case my voice was heard and everything is ready to go so I'm just going to click on yes and then OK. So at this moment in time I can start talking and I will be heard by others and the way I start talking is by coming to this button over here and clicking there and at that moment anybody who is joined who has joined the session is going to be able to hear you talk if you want to manipulate the volume of your microphone you can do so by moving this lever and if you want to manipulate the volume of your speakers you can do so by moving this lever over here okay I'm gonna stop talking stop the microphone once that we have done that we're going to cover several ways to participate the first way is by chatting and chatting might be uh, the first point where we're going to start because it's fairly easy in your setup of blackboard collaborate you're going to find a chat window that you can come over here and type in order to make whatever it is that you type appear in everyone else's uh, computer you need to press enter and at that moment everything will be transmitted um, I really recommend that this chatting area is mostly devoted for matters related to the focus groups very well after chatting uh, one of the things that you might be asked to do is to respond to specific prompts this could be questions with multiple answers or it could be just a straight yes or no in order to respond to a prompt you need to come over here to this area and in this little button here you will have a yes or a no and depending what the moderator is doing you can have other options in that area so for example instead of having a yes or a no it is quite possible that you can have five options from which to choose from raising your hand raising your hand might be important if you want to uh, speak um, it is better to raise your hand and then wait for the moderator to give you um, the opportunity to speak instead of just speaking at any given moment since we cannot see each other speaking at any given moment it is often the case that we speak on top of each other and that's why it might be a good idea to first raise your hand so in order to raise your hand you basically need to come to the blackboard collaborate window and you click on that button over there that is gonna create a number uh, that establishes the order in which the hands were raised and the moderator is gonna hear an auditory cue if you want to lower your hand which I do recommend once that you're done asking your question you can click once more over there and then you would have lowered your hand um, so then normally the way things go is that if you would like to address something via voice you raise your hand you wait for the moderator and once that you're asked to speak then you come over here you click on the talk button and then you can ask your question or make your comment once that you're done you click talk again and then you take down your hand uh, the part about talking we have already covered it and I think that it's gonna be easy for you to do that one of the things that probably I should tackle is that here you can open this window and if the moderator is appearing on video the video will appear there so that's the only thing that I would like to add to that part very well and finally writing on the whiteboard 
Um, most probably you will be asked to give responses to different prompts in the whiteboard and this is the way it would work. Basically this area over here is the whiteboard and when you come to this area over here with the letter A and you click you're gonna find that it breaks into two different uh, type of typing in the whiteboard. We want the one on the left, we want the one that is the paragraph. If you click there at that moment you're gonna be able to click anywhere on the whiteboard and you're gonna be able to start typing there. And this might be very useful especially for brainstorming sessions or if you're asked to give your experiences everybody can type at the same time in the whiteboard and it will become a fairly rich experience. Also know that you can change the size of your font once that you have typed it. You can select it like a regular word processor and you can change the font from serif to sans serif and so on. I recommend that you leave your font fairly small, probably 12 is too little, but 14 might be good since many people might be typing with you at the same time on the whiteboard in response to a single prompt. So these are all the different parts of the Collaborate um, program that we're going to use for our focus group sessions. Remember to arrive a little bit early. If possible, I strongly recommend that you run the session before the actual session because it is, metaphorically speaking, resembles more of a room than an actual video conference. And that means that you can enter that room even if you are by yourself at any given moment or you can enter it when everybody was scheduled to be in there. So I would recommend that you enter before anybody else is asked to be there and you just make sure that you recognize all the different parts of the interface, that you can set up your microphone, that you can interact with the chat and the whiteboard, and then you know that when the actual session comes, everything will be ready to go. Perfect. I hope that these tutorials are beneficial and I hope to see you all soon in the focus groups.